Okay everyone, so we're more than halfway through and we got all these prepared. So let's actually build the fourth robot, which is known as a self-balancing robot. So here it goes. So the moment of truth, let's actually turn it on. So we got, you got, let's see if it actually rise up. Oh, okay. Wow, look at that. It's self-balancing. So as you can see, our buddy is back. So let's actually try to tickle him a bit. Let's see how he responds. Okay. It's a bit more riskier this time because, um, yeah, let's see if there's any other different expression. It's just shaking, isn't it? Okay, it's not happy. <laughs> okay. Obviously, I wouldn't advise you guys to do this on a um, high table because it could fall off quite easily. Look at that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, don't come near. Now, one thing I would like to show you as a risk is that um, don't pick it up and trying to place it on the ground or push it because it's going to get very aggressive. Okay, so let's, I'll show you what. Look at that. So it's like, oh, okay, 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 I'm sorry. Okay, okay, balance yourself. So that's something you've got to bear in mind. Now, the other thing I actually realized is that I actually left it for a um, few minutes. A couple of minutes, actually, sorry, to be honest with you. Oh, come on. I'm trying to explain something. Is that it will, um, within a few minutes, go to sleep. And what it does is that it will just immediately fall backwards or forward. So if it actually fall, like goes backwards, because there's a button on the back, it would open up the lid. So it's not going to cause any uh, particular harm that I'm aware of, but just so you know, keep an eye on it, especially if it's on a solid ground. Otherwise, you could create a dent by this automatically falling to sleep. Okay. All right. So one thing I'm actually annoyed about is that when you actually go to, oh, here it goes. See, I showed you. So if it goes to the um, driver mode, it will just fall off. Whoa. whoa okay. So there's a bit of risk there, but, um, during the interval of you trying to get connected to the driver mode, it will just go bang, backwards or forward, depending on the weight of the point. Uh, but anyhow, so this is going forward and backwards and the um, directions as well uh, as the same as the previous uh, robot. Now we can make a phone call, uh, record videos and also take photos. And this is the um, transformation, okay? So you can actually adjust the height of the um, self-balancing robot. And based on my impression is that I think the best way is to keep it in a sort of in the middle, because if you go to the top, as you can see, it looks less stable and seems to move more. So it feels like it could actually fall down any minute, but I'm sure it won't happen. But if you were to lower it down as much as possible, again, it doesn't look stable. So again, if we were to transform into the highest, that's the highest level as you can see. And it's, I think it's all right, actually. Um, but if you actually were to lower it down as much as you can, yeah, that's how it looks like. So it I guess it's just depending on how you want to play around with it. So again, I'm going to come off from the driver mode so you can see what I mean. There you go. It just falls down. So that could potentially cause dent on your camera because that's exactly how it did. Or the dent on its knee. So that should be not a problem. Or if it goes backwards. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Settle down it could actually dent the switch, which I'll show you again. Okay, that's a rather better fall because the knee is actually protecting everything. There you go, that's how it falls. And the result of that is that the lid opens because it's pressing the button for the actual cover. Again, on the maneuvering test, so it goes forward and backwards. And that's how you could actually turn it around. So let's say if we were to do circles, it's slower than the predecessor, but it's fine. I mean, that's how it moves around. 
that's quite cool you can see that the actual um, wheel that is actually internal sliding is more pushed in you see what I mean so that's quite clever it's actually trying to centralize the weight when it moves that's really cool isn't it this is what we call AI self-balancing system all right so this is the tallest mode let's see if it actually falls down when it does this spinning around nope that's pretty spot on doing very well and you can see that because of that line of different heights it's actually a readjusting it immediately that's really cool so this is the lowest height mode so if we do another spin around again yeah you can still see the leg bending in on inwards but this seems to be more settled indeed um, and the reaction for different sort of um, heights or different surfaces is immediate isn't it so that it prevents it to fall down i guess that's the joy about this robot all right so let's do a quick test when actually one of the leg came across with a different heights and very awkward situation so if we were to move forward look at that okay so it's that's self-balancing that is really cool actually this ongoing insistence of trying to balance itself seems to just make it okay well this time there was no luck but there you go that seems to be the uh, bit of an awkward situation and you get the message saying that unexpected uh, issue has occurred okay so let's do a bit more reasonable challenge here so there's three layers of thin sponge that's actually from the package from you got hey, look at that that's pretty cool so one side of the wheel is automatically detecting the challenges and it's just balancing itself off really cool indeed so i guess this will be the most realistic sort of standing uh, mode of a robot feel that you can get for the you got robot series and that is pretty cool look at that so it's like hello I'm this self-balancing robot. I just love the way how it actually like bow its knee a bit and then just like settles itself in again. Look at that. It's like, hello. Again, hello. <laughs> hello. And if we were to come out of the driver mode, yeah, that's what it happens. So always bear that in mind. So if you leave it for a moment, it automatically wakes up with our buddy mode so imagine having that in your household along with Evo X and many different robots so on the menu from the app we got the driver mode which we have just gone through on the ULAP there's only three functions that does not relate to this self-balancing robot at the moment and I'm sure we're going to get some more updates later on and lastly we got the album which is either you take a photo or record a video and that's pretty much it so it's a bit limited compared to the other function we had with the pre uh, predecessor robots but we can actually see the battery level which is pretty cool indeed so that's pretty much it for this self-balancing robot is there any uniqueness to it yes there is there's this ai intelligence showing that it could balance by itself even though there has been some challenging circumstances the um, brain itself will be able to immediately respond to those challenging so that's very interesting indeed so what's so significant about this robot i think is that you got i think is trying to explain to everyone that listen we have the ai knowledge of applying this self-balancing technology into this robot so in the future we're going to come up with an awesome robot I think that's what you got is trying to tell us here it's a very interesting sort of experiment as well once i build it and seeing that this is actually happening is quite rewarding as well and it's a really cool robot um, other than the fact that there are these wires dangling here which is completely uh not intrusive at all but it just doesn't look cool i wish i wish that we could actually have more cable management uh, sort of solution to this but again it's really cool and it does make sense why it's so aggressive 
when you actually pick it up because it's trying to immediately respond to that unbalanced situation. So I hope this video helped you understand more about this self-balancing robot from YouGod. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.